Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT University, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time, we are talking about HTTP Certified Administrator or HTTPCA exam and uh, we are talking about adding a new node to an existing cluster which is already covered on, uh, on my uh, 6 node or 7 node cluster. As part of this video, I will try to show you how you can accomplish that on the practice exam uh, which is provided by Hortonworks on AWS. So for that, you need to make sure that your uh, the certification exam lab is up and running, and then copy the public DNS, launch the VNS viewer, provide the IP address and port number. IP address is what you have copied, and port number is five nine zero one, and click on connect. You will see a warning. Click on continue, and enter the password which is Hadoop okay and here if you click on uh, exam click on exam tasks you can see that one of the no uh, task is to commission a new node uh, first we need to set up the local repository which we already took care and uh, then we have to install data node, node manager and client services on node 1. So node 1 is the one which we need to take care and uh, for that let me open the terminal. I am closing this one. I am opening the terminal because we have to start the services before doing anything. And uh, once you open the terminal on the home directory you have start all services and you have to run that script start all services dot sh and it will uh, issue a rest api a rest api call to start the cluster okay and now you can launch ambari it will take little while to start the cluster and username is admin and password is admin hit enter So all the services are up and running and uh, before going further, before trying to add the services on the host, first we need to validate whether the local re repository is configured or not on node 1. So node 1 is the one which they are asking as part of the exam. Hit enter, root is the username and node 1 is the IP uh, alias for the IP address on which uh, we have to add the Hadoop components and the password for root is Hadoop and then you have to run M repo list and you should see HDP as part of the repository list and you can see HDP 2.3 here, HDP utils here and Ambari here. So our repositories are ready. Now we can actually add the node or host to the cluster. So go to hosts here and you see only resource manager, name node, hive server and node 2. Now we are trying to add node 1. So add new hosts. So node 1 is the one and when I actually set up the cluster on my environment in AWS, I have pasted SSH private key from the PEM file of AWS to here but here we will browse the location of the id underscore rsa file and if you look at the exam tasks you can see that they have given the path of the uh, ssh private key it's under home so this is the home desktop and id underscore rsa is the file so click on open okay and now sorry i have to go to ambari and now the ssh key from the id rsa is pasted here and also in my environment ec2 user is the username here it is root so click on register and confirm 
this is just a warning typically fqdns will have uh, domain also because this host does not have domain it's just throwing an warning throwing a warning just click on ok and then it will actually register the node and then we have to assign slaves and clients the same way we have done on our clusters and what we have to configure it's already given in the certification exam so we have to go through the question paper and we have to act accordingly so here what they are asking is to configure data node node manager and client services okay so we will take care of those things now so you can uh, ignore these warnings let's review the warnings and uh, let's see if it can be ignored there is some firewall issue so ip tables is running in this host uh, node 1 so we have to stop that okay and also there is one service issue let's see what that service issue is ntpd is not running on one host so we have to configure ntpd also so we have to take care of these things okay ideally we should uh, install all the prerequisites which we have uh, done on the uh, new node on the cluster using running the prepare node.sh but in this case i don't think they will expect you that as part of the certification especially they don't say explicitly here so uh, better be prepared to at least take care of the warnings probably it might it might be considered uh, at the time of the evaluation so, but uh, you don't need to run the entire prepare node.sh by going through each and every script because it will be a very time consuming okay so here other unless they provide a script to you to execute to set up all the prerequisites so first one we need to do is we have to stop the ip tables so service ip tables stop and also ip6 tables IP6 tables is not there and then you have to do check config IP tables off now the IP tables will be disabled and then it is expecting about NTPD so just run m-y install NTPD and hit enter it will install the M server I think it's only NTP not NTPD yeah so ntp is installed now you have to just start it the cell, the process name is ntpd start or let's try ntp start now it should be ntpd only so probably what i can do is exit from here ssh root at node 2 hadoop service ntpd status yeah so here also it is stopped so you can ignore it you can ignore the ntpd and let's check the ip tables also on the node 2 service ip tables status hit enter yeah ip tables is up and running here so you can ignore those two errors actually those two warnings okay so uh, let me start the ip tables ip tables 
start check config IP tables on to make sure uh, that we don't address these issues so even if if it throws warnings here unless they explicitly say to fix don't no need to worry about it and then close and then click on next click on ok here I want to configure data node node manager and client and click on next okay so these are the components which will be installed there is no hbase in this only these uh, uh, technologies will be configured falcon slider and all those things and click on next and then click on deploy now it is installing all the components that are required to bring our new node up to the level of node 2 uh, which includes uh, the node 1 will become a worker node with uh, data node node manager and uh, other client components it will take a while to install once it is installed we will review the way we have done to our six node cluster on aws so now the installation is done hence click on next click on complete and you will see node 1 in the list here and you can see there are 14 components two components more than node 2 we will see what are there okay data node falcon client hdfs client hcat hive map reduce matrix okay so probably when they actually set up they might have added a particular component after node 1 is added and uh, probably they didn't set up those that client on node 1 uh, that's why it might not be showing couple of this uh, couple of the clients here the main things such as uh, data node actually node 2 is supposed to have the data node and node manager but here it does not I don't know why if you look at this it has the data node and also node manager but node 2 does not have those things that's fine we don't need to worry about it at this time we will proceed with other topics and see um, probably the issue might be resolved by itself it is it is saying there are four data nodes live so let me click on hdfs data nodes <coughs> okay so data node is running on hive server name node node 1 and resource manager but not on node 2 that's why you don't see those two things on node 2 okay so that's how you can add the services in in the certification if they ask the question on the topic and you have to be extremely careful to understand what they're asking and you have to take care of all those things that 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 is asked as part of that question in this case on node 1 they are asking us to set up data node node manager and client services and we have taken care of all the three things even though this uh, uh, task does not include setting up the local repository unless you set up the local repository you will not be able to uh, install these components so first you need to validate whether there is a local repository on that instance if it is not there you have to configure in in our case earlier we have done uh, HDP dot uh, uh, repo files uh, we have copied HDP dot repo files from node 2 to node 1 and then we actually set up the uh, cluster as part of this video means we added this node to the cluster 
as part of this video that being said i hope you are enjoying the content on the channel if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide the feedback please use the comment section of the video if you want to discuss further about any of the certifications in it please join my linkedin group called it versity minus certifications and finally if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this over time thank you bye